Also breaking here at noon, a federal judge in Austin has just blocked the new state law that would allow Texas police to arrest people suspected of crossing the border illegally. Senate Bill 4 was scheduled to take effect next Tuesday, but a district judge says the law will conflict with federal immigration law. The state is expected to appeal this. Meantime, the southern border is in the national spotlight yet again today as President Biden and former President Donald Trump visit Texas. All of this comes as immigration remains a top issue ahead of the 2024 election. Fox News correspondent Connor Hansen joining us live this afternoon from Brownsville with the latest. Connor. Delon, as you mentioned, both President Biden and former President Trump here on the border, but in different towns. They're both expected to speak about issues related to immigration today and securing the border but they'll probably both have much different takes on what should be done about it. President Biden and Donald Trump making dueling trips to the southern border on Thursday as polls show immigration becoming a top issue for voters ahead of the 2024 election. An exponential growth is, is definitely um, for alarm cause for concern. Both the president and former president are meeting with local leaders and border agents. Trump is in Eagle Pass where the Border Patrol apprehended more than 2,000 migrants in recent days. 300 miles away, Biden is visiting the quieter city of Brownsville where 46 migrants have shown up in the past five days. People think, oh, there's it's just mayhem, right? It's mayhem and, and it's really not, um, at least not Brownsville. The White House says the president will be renewing his calls for congressional Republicans to pass more border funding. Republicans rejected it. Why did they do that? They did that at the behest of the former president, who Donald Trump, who asked them to not take it up. But Trump and other Republicans blame Biden for the crisis, arguing open border policies allowed millions of illegal migrants to enter the country. Joe Biden is catching them and releasing them into the country, and it's caused an absolute catastrophe catastrophic effect and it will continue. Illegal border crossings from Mexico dropped last month after hitting record numbers in December, though officials here worry those numbers will start to go up again. Delon. All right, Connor.